conversation. And yes, when I talk about masturbation, ejaculation, penetration, erections, or clubhouse or Instagram, ho ek tag lagta hai, bold hai. But today I'm happy thanks to Instagram, thanks to Clubhouse that I could get, I could meet with someone who is not only expert in it but who has a grace when she explains anything and everything when it comes to sex. And the guest today we have, thank you for joining so much on time ma'am. Uh, I'll just give a short introduction of you and then I'll take you live ma'am because the audience should know I have her website on. Please, 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 I had even requested everyone to go through her page see each and every reel. Let me take her name first that is Dr. Nivedita Manukaran and who has been brought up in India is a clinician who is a, a sexual and reproductive health and HIV medicine. In that section she works there and I don't think so. Aisa koi bhi sawal hai. Ya hi doctor. Mujhe lagta hai mene live le lena chahi. Yeh formal introduction chhoor deti hoon. So guys anything and everything related to sex we have an awesome personality group. Hello. Hi. It's a good time, right? 5 p.m. So what's the time there now? It's 9.30 here. Oh, it's 9.30? Yeah. And how was your day? 9.30 p.m. Yeah, it's been a great day. It's been a great day. The weather's slowly changing from being cold to really very springy. So it's been really gorgeous. So yeah, it's been lovely. How are you? I'm fine. I'm so happy I could have you on my live Instagram. So I follow you religiously. But yes, Clubhouse also we could meet in some rooms. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and I was just telling my audience that when it comes to sex, uh, yeah, even when I talk, um, I, I the the level of expertise you have and with what grace you express it on Instagram, I'm a super <laughs> fan of you, especially you. with all. The Tamil, uh, Tamil songs or Malayalam Tamil, songs? Yes, yes, I Tamil, Tamil songs. Song. And yeah. your curse and your expression. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Thank so, thank yeah, you. before I begin with my questions, I would love to know about you from you. A small introduction, Deepa, Deepa. Uh, and ma'am, uh, this is completely candid. So, if you feel free to audience with your feel free. Because I Absolutely. guess lots of people from your side. Thank you. Thank you so much. So thank you so much for having me. And uh, just to quickly say about myself, I have done my dermatology and venereology from India. And then I moved to Sydney. And I actually found this job in sexual health because I didn't get a job in dermatology. And that was like 11 years ago. And I always tell people I still do the exact same job. And there goes my dermatology. I have left it completely into sexual and reproductive health because I like the kind of work we do. And my main focus is, uh, you know, to talk, you know, to, to take care of young youth, like somewhere between 14 and 21 is my main focus because I think they're at an age group where there is so much, you know, stigma and shame around sex. They don't know who to talk to. They don't know if they're right or wrong. Uh, it's a hard age for some people to identify the sexuality or to come out you know, and things like that. So that is my focus group, I should say. And I started doing this work here, trying to give this kind of care. And I was realizing how I, as a youngster, you know, around the age 14 to 21, completely missed it. Like, where are people in India going to? In fact, if they are trying to say that they're sexually active, they're being judged, isn't it? Um, <laughs> So I think that's very important. And I was always in my mind to, you know, come and uh, do something back to the country where, you know, I come from. Uh, and I think COVID is a blessing in disguise where, you know, it, I started seeing a lot of people using social media to educate and, you know, and stuff like that. So then I thought it doesn't really make a difference whether you're in Sydney or in India, if you're going to educate on social media. So I think, so that's why I've taken this platform. And uh, yeah, and I do a Oh, that's so sweet and humble. Yeah, I, I do believe COVID is a blessing in disguise. Otherwise, I would have never known the personality like who. And I have watched you right from the bottom, your initial reels till now. Thank till you. now. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. It means a lot coming from you guys. And I have to say, I'm trying my best, but thank you so much. Thank you for all the encouragement. Thank you for all the support. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, I am I'm into this and then 
thinking of a content then putting it very gracefully and then we are understanding as a lay person as a doctor to understand and as a lay person to understand i i am a super fan of that coming to that my very first question because as you said my target audience is between 18 to 25 and uh, i keep this title as modeling excellence though we will go in depth about sex but first thing first how did you come into this as a career right so like i told you this is so like i told you my i wanted to be a dermatologist you know like my dad's mm-hmm. a plastic and i wanted to be a dermatologist and i did dermatology and i actually wanted to do cosmetic work because i have great interest in hair and skin and stuff like that so sexual health was actually not in my idea at all and like i said i accidentally not accidentally like because i didn't get a job in dermatology and this is the job i got in sexual and reproductive health uh so i took that job and then that's it i i absolutely fell in love with the kind of job we are doing because people were so grateful you know it's a very personal uh health you know it's it's like it's easy for people to go and talk about their heart it is easy for people to go and talk about their stomach but i think when it comes to sexual health it's a very delicate um you know situation and i think also because a lot of morale and a lot of character judgment happens with sex and sexual health so you know people really personal so when you find really someone sensitive doing that kind of a job making them feel at ease making them feel not guilty is very very important so that is something that i've learned over the years and it's my absolute passion because i feel like i missed it as in youngsters as well you know absolutely. like when and in and look we used to have a lot of friends uh we all used to talk about you know people missing periods or some people used to worry about oh my god my period is getting delayed what am i going to do and stuff like that lucky we were doctors so at least you know we knew stuff like oh my god let's do a pregnancy test and stuff but otherwise for young adults who are sexually active i feel like you know we've been in denial for so long we haven't made it easy for them to access care they don't want your judgment they want your care like for example you know you if somebody is having an sti and they are a young person i think it's very important that we start recognizing stuff like uh who are they having sex with is the sex consensual or not you know you're in a position as a doctor to rule out probably sexual abuse sexual assault and a whole range of things but we are not taught to do that you know as a young person both as a girl who grew up in india and also as a doctor who trained in venereology in india both the times i did not have the experience that i'm giving now that i'm giving to my pers- so, so the people that i give now so i absolutely love my job and i think you know how you say you got a thing that <laughs> i think if you love your job so much you know i get all right. excited when i explain things you can see that spark na <laughs> it's like you know you get so into the <laughs> so i think it's because i love the job that i do and i um and i think that's very very uh, important so that's how i i mean i'm i'm sure i'm going to do it for rest of my life so i'm kind of stuck with this job Uh, and i absolutely love what i do and take it very serious and take people's you know personal life or confidentiality and you know very serious i i don't take it you know it's not like i'm i'm not judging and you know just make them feel comfortable that make them feel like of course it's your right to have sex you know what i mean um things like that so i think yeah so i love my job and yeah so then it became my career and i've been doing it for 11 12 years now so you know when we when we were about to begin our life my daughter is 17 she she gave me my specs she gave me one glass of water and while leaving she said mama keep your excitement in control today because it's your topic today so just be cool be composed uchal khudna nahi bole ki camera se bahar hi nikal ja because she knows how much i love doing sex talking sex anything and everything about sex नहीं अच्छा हुआ ना कि यू हैव अ डॉटर हु इज एक्चुअली ऑन बोर्ड विद इट सी लाइक मतलब मेरा भी दो बेटे हैं जो यू नो वन इज अ टीनेजर एंड लाइक यू सेइंग नो ही समटाइम्स ही इज एम्बेरस्ड कि ये मम्मा का टॉपिक दिस इज व्हाट शी टॉक्स अबाउट बट आई मीन दैट यू नो व्हाट एवर या बट हैविंग सम 
someone like you i'm so blessed uh, youngster should take uh, full uh, full uh, advantage to someone like you who who provides the space because trust me as you said even i wasted my young days being a doctor i will be honest with you itni baar catheter kiya hai penis mein but first time in bed with my husband was the first sex of my life i never had sex before marriage meri arzu ab hoti hai ki kaash mera sex pehle hota and when i saw the erected penis i was like ye kya hai i don't want to have sex itna mai dar gayi thi because I was not aware of it, as you said. We never spoke on it. I never knew what is actual penetration. I knew how, what is reproduction, but yeah. I never knew what is it as a sex and an act. Yeah. The act yeah. behind it, the pleasure behind it. Marriage happens, and then you you're having sex, and then I think a lot of the times it becomes like you're having sex more for procreation than recreation, right? It's it's more mm-hmm. like. या नेक्स्ट तो पैदा करना ही है तो सेक्स यू नो इट बिकम्स लाइक दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट आई थिंक वेल सेक्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू नो इट्स इट्स मोर लाइक इट्स इट्स एंजॉयएबल इट्स प्लेजरेबल इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इट इज हैपनिंग ऑल द टाइम सो आई थिंक दैट्स समथिंग दैट वी रियली हैव टू यू नो फोकस ऑन एंड एक्सेप्ट इट एंड आई थिंक द बिग प्रॉब्लम इज एक्सेप्टेंस ना हम एक्सेप्ट नहीं करते कि ये इट्स हार्ड फॉर अस टू your 16 or 18 year old can have sex because you still but change jaise dekhte unko but you know but the importance is tabhi to puberty hua na tabhi puberty nahi to kyu hota ha nahi to kyu ha so the puberty that is when people have their hormones their testosterone everything and that is when they want to explore that is when sexual act is going to happen so agar humne you know itna if we don't think of it like a character issue or if we don't narrow it down to something like that we will actually be able to help youngsters do the right thing matlab we can prevent yes we can get them vaccinated for hpv we can get them you know regular pap smears uh, we can also prevent a whole lot of unwanted terminations abortions pregnancy all these things itna kuch hum kar sakte hai if we actually accept ki yahi ho raha you know if we accept ki this mm-hmm. is it because this is it like and also na saiba like these days uh people don't get married till 30 something now people want to get mm-hmm. independent they want to have a career they want to have a life so they really don't want to get married early like those days nobody gets married when they're 18 or 21 anymore uh so in that situation what are you expecting somebody you know who uh you well, 13 or shaadi 30 mein ho or and they are just sitting on whatever it is like it's unreasonable so instead if we take this as one of the things that is happening then we can develop a healthcare system on it you know yeah then there will be a talk then there will be awareness and i personally feel if my daughter is going into relationship does sexual compatibility matters then i feel it does matter it does matter absolutely yeah. why why and is she falling to sex uh, is one but we have to keep the things na consent uh, contraception yeah. इतना कुछ है लाइक इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट लाइक यू सेड इट इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट पेनिट्रेटिव सेक्स क्योंकि वो तो लास्ट बात होता है सेक्स में you know mm-hmm. that's very important to be or how it's meant to be started you know so i think it's very important that uh, we talk about it so i think this is this is fantastic how so many of us are actually you know in this platform trying to have a chat about this and it's fantastic yeah something where i can talk openly because and then the sex happens in the bed then there is a conversation suppose with my husband or with my daughter there is some distance still wo bolte mamma bas aapko to sharam hai hai nahi main itna bata diya bas ho gaya but then have few friends she like kitna detail mein batao bhi bas ho gaya bas ho gaya it's like that but yeah fortunately i have few friends but suppose i have i had an or- orgasm and i need to go and share that Uh, right. uh trust me that uh, there are few friends where if i share they look at me as if they are putting a character certificate to me yeah see yeah yeah um, character certificate okay, how can you talk about orgasms and fountains and you becoming wet and you wanting it you demanding it hamare sath ke upar ek title ban jata hai na ye ac hai you know she's talking ha. about ac is baat kar rahi ha that is the problem ha. and they they doubt my integrity with my relationship if i am talking about sex it's not yeah. about my integrity no no and it's not about uh, yeah. look i mean it's not about anybody's morale look i really have to share so when i have really young patients who come to me and i diagnose someone with let's say like you know 
uh, gonorrhea or chlamydia or something like that. And let's say they've had sex with a friend that they've known for a very long time. You can see the uh, disappointment, right? So you can see that the person says, oh my God, but he's such a good friend of mine and I thought he's a nice guy. And I, and I stop them right there and I say, he is a nice guy. You know, he is a good friend of yours. Aise nahi hai ki, you know, like people who are having sex with other people, let's just say, or who forgot to use a condom or didn't use a condom, ki aise uska kuch STI ho gaya hai. Iska matlab ye nahi hai ki, he's not a nice guy. You know, they can, you can, you can be nice guys. You can be really, really lovely. Exactly. And still want to have sex. Matlab pata how I, people always connect, you know, or yeah, meinne socha ki wo achha, achha ladka hi hai. You know, meinne socha achha ladki hai. Yeah, she is. You know, I don't think people's morality or people's personality or whether they're nice or not is actually connected to somebody's sexual drive or sexuality or how much sex they're having. And I think that's a very, very wrong attitude. The minute you know that somebody is actually sexually active or they're open, you either like slut shaming them or you, you know, you're actually putting them down. And I think that is something that's not necessary, right? That's, that's something that we have to change. You know, people thinking that connecting always somebody's morale to somebody's sexuality is not actually necessary and it's not accurate. Yeah, true. And the big thing you said about India. So hmm. now, from your experience of being in being in Australia and also being from India, uh, how much uh, how much difference do you see now when it is about talking about orgasm, about the female pleasure I'm taking, about my pleasure, and if I'm demanding it from my partner first? So because still when I talk, uh, to, with my husband, I to very openly ask that. But when 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 it is in the common discussion, it is usually the woman giving the pleasure to the husbands or to the partners. Now my question is, what is your say or what is your experience on this when it comes to an open communication between two partners, between two partners or from girls to boys? This is what I want, and this is what I want from you. So, what is your say or experience or take on this? Perfect. Look, I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm too old, but I should say when I grew up, <laughs> I don't think women actually verbalized pleasure. I don't think it was a thing, uh, you know, that they spoke about or that they were allowed to say. That doesn't mean that women did not feel feel pleasure or it doesn't mean that, you know, women did not have fantasies or, you know, erotic um, thoughts. But the truth is they did not speak openly about it. And I think that dynamics is slowly changing. You know, we have flipped the card somewhere recently that that dynamics has changed. And we are talking a lot about female pleasure, which is fantastic, which I think is so important because I think, you know, before, like you said, women are classified into two kinds of women or no? sexual needs, either good girl or a bad girl. Good girl is someone who gets married and, you know, has sex with the husband and produces babies and, you know, makes a family out of it. The bad girl, again, is the one who has sex with the man, but who gives him more pleasure than anything else. So either ways, that's based on the whole sexual need. That's all you had. You had two functions. It was not about women at all. So what is very, very important is women pleasure and I think recently female pleasure has been very verbalized and I think that is fantastic you know people are talking about clitor clitoris I mean it's gone so open nowadays like people are saying please do not think if you penetrate that is pleasurable the clitoris is the organ you know we're putting so much um, importance on that particular thing which I think is absolutely fantastic so I think that's very important so in my experience I want to say like you said from what you knew or heard from India I had zero experience on in that game I didn't know anything I didn't hear about anything I didn't know there was there was nothing I don't think we heard or knew about anything yes pe yes people were having sex or yes people were dating and we were and and that's about it there was no talking or female pleasure or we didn't speak about female orgasm or I don't think so so I think from that time we have come to a point where we are now talking about female orgasm and how important it is. And I think even in many, many relationship counseling these days, you know, they are trying to explain uh, to men that, you know, female orgasm is very important. The women being satisfied in a sexual relationship is very important when it comes to, uh, you know, so many times when they, are, they aren't or when it's secrecy. You know, a lot of the time, 
men especially when it's a long standing relationship i should say you know men don't pay attention it kind of goes unnoticed that you know female pleasure you know whether she actually wants to have sex or whether she actually came or you know or not kind of goes very unnoticed which i think is now has to change because even part of relationship counseling that is what we're trying to say you know trying to tell people that you know make sure that you're both being pleasured make sure that i mean if you don't just ignore it and focus on your pleasure focus on the other person's pleasure as well and same when it comes to female pleasure i think communication is very 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 important um which is hard. like you're right you know like people i mean look people see pornography and they think that is what sex is about and i think that's sad um so i really want to you know i always encourage people to have a conversation with your partner because for example erotic zones or what actually makes someone feel um you know or sexy or you know even come can be different you know like just because you're watching porn just you go penetration bang 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 that that probably won't do it for her communication in the bedroom is very very important um, and like you said female orgasm has to start taking you know uh, importance and because only then i think in fact it has an impact on the relationship don't you think like in that yeah. situation you're constantly ignoring it and if you don't understand it yes i mean people do stick on to long term relationships or marriages for 100 you know so many reasons but it definitely does take a toll in the back of you know people's mind and bodies so communication yeah. is pleasure both ways is very important and consent is very very yes consent mm. so nice so clear and crisp with your thoughts someone has mentioned namin namin hunt it's always interesting to share your thoughts with each other so that your partner will understand you more yeah very absolutely. true absolutely yeah, very true yeah. yeah like that you may want something else to be done or you know you may feel like uh, you know something else and of course and you know rather than rather than thinking oh what will he think or she think i think bedroom is a good personal space you know if you're not able to have that intimacy and that trust with each other and not enjoy that personal space then clearly the relationship is not working something's wrong anyway yeah and i guess a female has to verbalize as you said it was never because my mom taught me how to drive a car at yeah. 20 years back how yeah. to uh, operate computer she said computer aana chahiye khana banana aaye na hai lekin unko computer aur car aana chahiye she explained me damn everything she was the most mother with a bigger vision but till date till date i have never spoken to her ki mama how was your sex with dad or she didn't ask me ki how is your sex with your husband yeah Yeah, I think I think it's assumed, na. I think it's assumed, and also sometimes people go to them talk. You know, if everything else is okay, and and your sex life is not okay, or something is wrong with the bedroom, ah, uh, you're just supposed to be quiet. हाँ, उसको accept करके quiet होना चाहिए, ना? You have to just adjust it. You have to be quiet with it because because bedroom is not a big deal. you know we talk i think culturally this these values have been you know put on women you know they've told women like you know bedroom is not a you know it's not a big thing like if something agar you know is not happening but he's a guy who works who feeds you who takes care of your children wo jo sab cheezein ke liye itna weight hai utna weight nahi hai wo jo you know that pleasure that you're having in the bedroom so it's always and it's also been kind of told to women uh you know in a way that if you actually say it out loud that the reason you know we're not getting along is because i'm not pleasure pleasurized in the bed then it kind mm. of is a connected with your character or your moral and character i know and kind of uh, degraded upon or looked down upon you know there are people who actually say you know he's perfect guy he works he takes care of her and everything wo bilkul you know she is just coming out for sex you know like usko sex nahi mil rahi isliye aa rahi hai i mean matlab of course itna bada cheez to hai you know you want to say you know if uh, you mean like you know you will encourage men to go and get married someone else ki agar bachcha paida nahi kar rahi hai you know you you told people like oh you know maybe you should marry someone else wo sab chalta hai na it's exactly the same thing why is it any difficult it's not it's not just for procreation so i think that that attitude is very wrong that, that that's what i think you know when I mean, we have to tell our daughters everything is important you know in a relationship everything is important for some people car be important yaar but for some people maybe not especially you know ki aaj ki duniya mein when girls are also working let's just say when women are also working and they're making money equally 
दे कैन बाई द कार कार तो खुद ले सकती है एंड दे कैन बाई कपड़े भी खुद ले रही है वो अपार्टमेंट जो है वो भी खुद ले रही है सो प्रोबेबली देर आर सम थिंग्स दैट you really have to work on you know like you, like making her feel special respecting her or you know or probably being good in bed agar ye teeno cheez bhi nahi kar rahe ho baaki sab to wo khud kar rahi hai then what is the purpose na to aaj ko log puche kya you know kya purpose hai and you know what is the point i only do everything so main khud kar leti hu why sari purpose but Yeah, that's yeah, very true, and that's the reason I can I I speak bit open when I do masturbation on my own. I do like it because it's not every time your partner is available. It's not every time the partner may have the urge, but I have the urge and I want it right now. मेरे दिन मर की तकान मेरे एक ऑर्गेनिज्म से जाने वाली है. And then sometimes I do masturbation. फिर मैं सोचती हूँ कि यार ये भी मैं खुद ही करूँ क्यों करूँ? So वो thought आता है. सब चीज़ अब at least i think we are of we are of a slight i mean i am of a slightly different uh, generation i sh- i should say you know where you know we still feel like you know we can you know adjust or just karne ki baat hai you know you are just a lot you put a, you know the, these days people you're right these days like you know people actually don't want to do any of this agar sab kuch single women ko hi milta hai pata nahi people are thinking kya i mean you know sasural itna cheez kya hai you know it's too much itna gender zaruri nahi hai it's all a bit too much सेक्स भी नहीं मिल रहा है तो क्या तो भी नहीं हो रहा सेक्स टॉयस भी बढ़िया हो रहा है तो सो आई एम थिंकिंग व्हाट इज द पॉइंट ना सो यस इट्स अ बिट ऑफ अंजनी टाइम्स चेंजिंग एंड दैट्स द ट्रुथ एंड पीपल आर इवॉल्विंग एंड टाइम्स आर चेंजिंग एंड आई थिंक वी आर स्टार्टिंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट वी डिडंट स्पीक बिफोर व्हिच इज फैंटास्टिक व्हिच आई थिंक इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड एट लीस्ट शुरुआत तो हो गई हां हां शुरुआत तो कहीं हो नहीं है लाइक सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड नाउ so i think it is time for that change change to hone wale i mean it's shocking you know i i mean i'm not saying that um, you know that these things are okay or i'm not saying ki you know it's it's good. marriage is great and you know love is great understanding is all great but i feel like there has to be a different strategy and you know different formula between couples nowadays uh, than what it was before you know before yes. Also, yes. so Absolutely. definitely have to because we cannot go by what our parents did or we cannot go by what our dadi or nani did because you know when people were home and husbands were providers and they were busy so the the chores were divided now people did different things abhi aisa nahi hai na even even men even men i'm saying men are so independent these days na they cook they clean they live on their own sab kuch to chalta hi hai so when there is so all these things have evolved na men also do everything on their own women also do everything in their own so clearly when you're talking about a relationship mai sochni kuch aur baat honi chahiye na just providing and you know just that is not going to make relationships anymore aajkal to chalta nahi hai you have to work on something a little bit more na agar respect chahiye to respect agar bahar khana wana hai khana hai go have fun fun holiday chahiye kuch aur you know lot of cuddles love um and lot of whatever you know whatever that is a relationship has to move one step more than purely providing you know financial support and stability so i think that is a big shift in relation that was happening mm-hmm. years ago and the relationships that we want to see now because if these things are not there na it's like you know people keep questioning me why do people get so much divorces these days aajkal to itna divorce kyu ho raha hai because i keep telling people because aajkal ka demand alag hai aap log fir wohi baat karte ho main car de rahi hu ghar de aa to wo khud leti hai na so so there is no point saying i take care of you i buy you this no 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 she has her own money wo khud le legi so you have to actually seriously do some work and think aur kya de sakte hai you know to actually make this relationship a uh, lovable mm-hmm. you know enjoyable one so maybe yeah. we have to make on re- work on respect we have to work on consent we have to work on sex there are other things that we have to start working on 
and sex becomes uh, sometimes sex can become the top most priority it, it can be the top most priority this is what i want and this is what i want right now yeah absolutely it's very important na and you know i was reading a book the other day it's funny i mean not to bring problems among you know uh, married couples or women or anything like that but to be honest they were saying you know when women are working as well these days and then they come back home and then they do all the house chores and if you like have a husband uh, who actually sits on the couch with the laptop and waits for the dinner to be done and then served and then takes his laptop and go to the bedroom and he's sitting in the bed waiting for the wife to come jab wo you know malish kar rahi hai jhadu poch kar rahi hai and then you're waiting wo aa rahi hai bedroom mein of course you know the husband saying are usko mani nahi kar raha hai aajkal wo itna tired hai wo usko sex hi nahi karna hai no 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 i know you are saying sex nahi karna hai nahi sex sex tumhare sath nahi karna hai because you are sitting with <laughs> you know because you were sitting with your laptop when she actually was trying to cook clean and probably do the home you know stuff like that so so things some so things like that you know when both of you are actually going to uh, work and doing you know stuff like working and things definitely have to share your burden you know definitely have to share the burden or definitely come and say are mat karo yaar aaj let's just get take away and you know probably go and give her a foot massage or something like that yes if you're lucky she'll probably want to have sex with you you know if none of those things happened it doesn't mean she you know people think that women who are ma- you know married on the long run actually don't want to have sex but the truth is they don't want to have sex with a guy who actually sits down and watches them work all the time and then probably you know in, a, in terms of relationship say something really nice about his mom or his sister she doesn't want to have sex with you anymore you know things like that so i think they have to work on stuff like that stuff like how to make your partner actually want to have sex with you so don't don't get me wrong so don't think all women are tired and they don't want to have sex no 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 i don't think so women can absolutely want to have sex with someone who probably they feel attracted to who who they feel loved with Yeah, loved with, loved with. Yeah, absolutely. And who knows? Who knows how to give her orgasms? Who knows exactly. how to exactly touch where she wants it? And also, take her to that point. You know. Ah, and have the patience. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. The, uh, just make sure that you said the right thing. You know, you can't say a rubbish table and then in the bedroom. Me, okay, sex. Can you? How can you? No, you can't. Want to be with you? No. that's the point so i think for all those people who think mai wo thaki hui hai nahi of course of course thaki hui hai aur tumhare sath bilkul nahi karna chahti because you sat her sat down and saw her working like you know what i mean uh, mm-hmm. so i think very uh, important so i think you know the the game the game changer is love respect consent there is another formula for marriage these days which women have, which men have to take on board so i think that's very important You speak from heart, na? Like that, I say, under say you are speaking. I I could feel that. I got to be. I enjoy my work. So this is. Yeah. People don't talk about this. Like, that, you know, it's all very shush shush, and sex is as though people talk like as though it is the least important. Ki matlab even if somebody mm-hmm. gets like I know people who got like divorced and stuff like that because of a bad sex life, and I know their own. parents who have actually said na itna acha damad itna acha ladka tha fir you know she was just talking about you know itni she they make her narrow they make her feel guilty ki na itni narrow thi ki she was talking just about sex are it important aspect hai na like what do you mean mm-hmm. sunny is telling exactly she speaks from a heart doctor sunny arora yeah Thank i'm also mesmerized and listening to her <laughs> ek step aage jaake aur ek sawal puchu If you are comfortable. Ah, absolutely. Ah, uh, now this is about those couples where suppose no sasur and no household drama and no cooking shaking. Okay, it's all about the bedroom stuff now. Where it's all about timing. I will say, uh, what is your piece of advice to those men who prefer? Like, see, a person ejaculates. He get a person in the sense a man ejaculates and he gets his peak and the drama finishes there. Now the female to get to that level, it has taken some time. So, अब सब सारा timing का खेल है, timing का लोचा है. आपका पहले pleasure हो गया. So, are you ready even after ejaculation? I'm asking a man. Are you ready even after ejaculation to wait? Okay, आपका हो भी गया है ना? So, give her the pleasure, get her to the peak, 
see that she gets her ejaculation she gets her fountains and are you ready to have that patience in that bedroom to take her to that you know high level cloud nine jisko bolenge so your take on that actually isme do type ka hota hai you know first of hmm. all first important is men ka bol you know they want to they need to have that attitude ki na i have to satisfy her wo jo hai na wo hona chahiye agar wo nahi hai agar you know all that you want to do is i want to get satisfied mera kaam khatam hua hai aa gaya main chalta raha that is very bad that's not the right way to do sex and clearly then you know it's not a working relationship at all so i'm going to talk about like men who actually you know want to make an effort but you're right there are different men can have you know can hold on for a different mm-hmm. period and that fine as well you know some people can do it only for a short period of time some people can a long period of time and that's fine as well and i always like you know i t- i think like you know you can do it either ways so if you someone who want to orgasm in the end and but you would really like to give her the pleasure let's just say you you don't need to have penetrative sex straight away you know you can do your full play um you can actually like let's say you're someone who's going to ejaculate straight away as soon as you penetrate but so you can let's say you can't do it but then she also wants something penetrated and she wants to go on for a long time right so mm-hmm. if that is a good situation where you can use a dildo where you can use a toy mm-hmm. use like mm-hmm. so because because all finger your finger your hand jo bhi and whatever that's fine jo bhi usko pleasure deta so why don't so you know that are you understand ki uska to bahut lamba hai na her her whole mm-hmm. and the whole organ mm-hmm. thing much longer than your time and you also got your body na jaldi aa jata hai so so that's fine that's mm-hmm. not a different people do it in a different pace different people keep and control in a different pace what we need to understand here is you understand your body and you understand her needs <laughs> and very important because you have to accept it na jaldi to aa hi jata hai to isko abhi karke okay i'll try lamba karu lamba karne ka zarur so i tell people na mm-hmm. i i do i can do only 10 minutes or 5 minutes or 2 minutes doesn't matter you know the mm-hmm. you know your body na tab kar lo na abhi to karna hi nahi to just you go work on her only na you can use a toy mm-hmm. you can use fingers you can use tongue whatever that is you want and jab wo itna aroused hai jab wo aati hai even after she comes then do minute ka hi baat hai na ho jata hai na so then you can do it and then every uska bhi ho gaya you know so do But the attitude on that thing yeah attitude on that thing so you have to have mm-hmm. the intent to do that agar intention hi nahi hai na you are to do kuch nahi hai have the intention to fulfill her you can never fulfill her you can fulfill her even if you do 2 minutes you can fulfill her even if you do 2 hours it doesn't matter so you know your body na so let's say you're someone who can do for 2 hours great yeah chalte raho she'll also do your you'll also do fine perfect or let's say so, you're someone that who wants to do first that's fine like mm-hmm. you said they can do first mm-hmm. aa jao okay but work on her aa jao and then you mm-hmm. can't turn the side and sleep so much jao na that's that's exactly very, exactly so that's mm-hmm. not so like i told you you can work before you can get an orgasm or you can work after you get an orgasm you can work either on but the bottom line is you need to have an intention an intention to make sure that nahi hai na itna kuch you know even to start the procedure of this whole thing why what's the point na she gets so fed up and then nahi karna chahti hai you know so mm. if you very selfish in bed and very self centered and you're not actually focusing on the other person's pleasure then what's the point so i think that's the bottom line sai but i think that is what we have to tell people ki intention hona chahiye you need both men and women i think you have to have an intention to satisfy the other person you know aisa nahi hai ki jao you satisfy yourself get up. i mean will it be nice if the woman go satisfy herself gets up and then chala gaya get up ha uh-huh. Exactly. I was about to tell that. <laughs> How frustrating! Will it be okay for you? No. So you know. So I think intent is important. And आज कल तो ये सब पे काम करना ही जरूरी है. Like I said, ना all this groundwork is very important these days. Like you said, boy. Yeah. Yeah. When you say intention, I remember Shahrukh Khan's dialogue. किसी चीज को शिद्दत से चाहो तो कायनात भी हासिल करने में लग जाती है. तो तुम शिद्दत शिद्दत दिखाओ हो गया 
मैं उस वो डायलॉग को निकाल के ना आई शुड यूज इट फॉर ऑर्गेजम रील अच्छा डायलॉग है आपका आवाज ब्रेक हो रहा है बीच बीच में इंटरनेट की बात है की क्या है सॉरी हाउ इज इट नाउ इट्स फाइन बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू मिस आउट अगल वर्ड इट्स फाइन इट्स फाइन या आई हेड वन मोर क्वेश्चन अनोनिमस पर्सन ऑल अबाउट सेक्स विथ मल्टीपल पार्टनर्स Yes. So yeah, the, I'm not going to the terminologies. I keep it in a lay language. So, uh, uh, it, yeah. she did ask me. मतलब मतलब it's like this, right? Multiple partner. It is your choice. Like in the sense, let's say you wanna, you not want to be in a committed relationship. You want to have okay. sex with my. partners and you know how to have safe sex you making sure you using condoms and if you're not you're getting regular sti testing and you have your contraception covered so yes sir you know but if it is all tick the box fine kuch mm-hmm. nahi hai what is that that is you na that is that's how you want to do it come to relationship mein hoy nahi so that's fine that's fine and at the same time i think with, there's a lot of you know sexual orientations and you know sexual behaviors that people want to do these days so there is polygamy there's polyamory so you know honestly anything is okay if uh, there is consent and i think that is what is important na agar if you are in a relationship where the partner is actually thinking it's a monogamous relationship but you are actually having or wanting to have sex with multiple people then i think it is it's it's cheating right it then it's infidelity and i think that is where the problem arises and however if you're someone who is very open about i do have sex i have like see i do see patients and i do have patients who come and tell me uh, i have sex with three partners but they are all regular partners and they all know that i have uh, sex with three of them you know regularly so they all regular partners and they are all safe and they all regularly get tested so there are some people who are open about them having more than one sexual partners and that's fine you know if you are able to accept what you are doing and if you are able to communicate that with the other sexual partner then i think it's perfect the problem arises when you're not able to do that though when you're not doing that when it's all done under hidden i think that's a problem see polyamory is also something that you know people are doing these days which is which is not just having sex with multiple partners but it is also ha- having an emotional connection or flirting or you know kind of a relation some people can some people can i mean you know i mean i should say that the days of generation i grew up now we used to call them like you know playboy so jo hum bol dena jo na isko bhi isko bhi love karo usko bhi love karo isko bhi le lo de do usko bhi de do ye sab ko patata hai ye sab ko patati hai ya ye sab ko patata hai aajkal na wo bhi chalta hai आजकल वो भी एक चीज है जो सबको सो दो तीन यू नो टू थ्री पीपल के के लिए लव लेटर भी लिख सकते हैं दो तीन एज फार एज द पीपल नो एज फार एज द पीपल नो दैट यू नो यू एक्चुअली लाइक अ कपल ऑफ पीपल एंड यू एंगेज इन बोथ इमोशनल एंड यू नो सेक्सुअल बिहेवियर्स अ कपल ऑफ पीपल इट्स ऑल फाइन आई थिंक इट इज ऑल अबाउट बींग क्लीन स्लेट बिकॉज पीपल आर नाउ इन टू इट्स ओके यू नो सम पीपल लाइक टू डू विद मल्टीपल पीपल एंड इट्स ओके बट bol ke you know do it say it and do it and i think when you say it and do it or your partner is also on the same so people have open relationship so yeah. where you, know, you have a regular partner but this partner yeah, also yeah. the other partners yeah that partner also has so they have like some kind of boundaries like where you know you're always supposed to use condoms and regularly we'll go and get tested and stuff but then that one on one regular partner then they don't use and they have unprotected sex so that's a you know that's like a deal thing so they talk about this so i think mm-hmm. that is all this is about be open be honest and mm-hmm. then sab kuch aajkal but the problem is if you start hide but if you start hiding if you if you feel like i want to 
put up this kind of a situation or nor- or what we perceive as normal na we keep using this word normal which is not true which is not right but in our head we are thinking normal like is is to have a partner and be in love with you know partner and stuff like that but actually that is not you if you're in love with more than one people and you're flirting around with more than a couple of people and you're having sex with you just have to be open and accepting so again i think we come to the bottom line of acceptance which is sometimes very difficult so coming to all this polygamy or polyamory or poly people that you know you're having sex with it's okay as far as you have accepted that is what you like and you're open about it i think the problem arises when it is done and hidden and then it hurts someone else who trusted you to have a monogamous relationship and in the process you hurt someone else you're lying to someone else and then everything goes a little bit haywire so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how many people you have want to sex with you're committed or not whatever that is just being truthful and honest sometimes is even it's so good in long term relationship you know when you start to lie honestly i feel life is so stressful you know to 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 cover up the lie to keep this relationship and then constantly being worried that am i going to get caught or constantly being worried is there an sti transmission and worried about you know what you know or i think that is so stressful and i think rather than you know people putting yourself through it it is just better to be honest what will, i mean the worst thing will happen is the girl who is actually monogamous and who loves you will probably leave you yes but the truth is she is monogamous and you're not mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. so i think recognizing your sexuality or your sexual orientation and what you want to do is very important and be truthful about it, it makes everybody's life easier in fact your life easier it's not fun with this you know um yeah yeah the way we write on our bios he she they we mention our professions we can just mention our uh, like open relationship monogamous polygamous jo bhi hai wahan hum openly usko batane ki jigra rakhni chahiye and on the basis of honesty and good communication it can be made easy varna fayda hi kya rahega na ki itna bada pleasure mil raha hai aur iski itni badi kima chuka raha hai look matlab these days people are too open or like you said na he she they monogamous polygamous ye sab wo instagram ke page facebook pe page mein likh ke jate hain but not many people are so open about it and that's okay too matlab you don't have to write it here or anything but if you meet a partner and if you start liking someone let's just say and you feel like they like you as well i think that's the point when you have to be very clear because you don't want to lie just to keep partners and i think that's very that's very wrong that's very manipulative and i think that's when it's you know it's not true you know there are people who says but what if she leaves me or what if he leaves me well too bad because you people are not alike your people you your sexual orientation is not alike so if you want to have sex with four other people and she doesn't well too bad you have to go mm-hmm. mm. ah yeah that was a real eye opener Uh, you're true because the other partner is monogamous. The other partner can't be the sufferer. Or exactly. कोई भी खुशी कोई भी pleasure गुनाह के uh, foundation पे नहीं खड़ी हो सकती. नहीं. It नहीं. is a sin. And I think प्यार या sex doesn't matter. Not झूठ से नहीं बनना चाहिए. You know that's not okay. So you know actually it's very stressful. जो जिंदगी ना झूठ like if you lie and start it's okay I mean you want to do it because normal से रखना चाहती है oh I love her so I don't want to leave her or I don't want her to leave me इसीलिए मैंने झूठ बोला but honestly a relationship built on lie whether it is whatever it is it's it's really honestly it's not worth it the the weight that comes off your shoulder when you actually say the truth you know is just it's just immense it's just immense pleasure it's absolutely light i really want people to actually go and try this or you know so so the worst thing that could happen is yes the part that she or he will leave but honestly if that is how it's like you know if you people are not sexually compatible or emotionally compatible and telling the truth actually makes someone leave honestly that's how it should happen you know jhoot bol ke if you want to keep someone to yourself usse zyada burden the heaviness on the shoulder na aaj nahi to kal nikal hi jayega like you know it will come out definitely so na i wo enjoy karoge na ye enjoy karoge sir ha 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 so you know yes it is hard yes it is very difficult but if that is what you are you have to be truthful and you have to let go of the other person i think that's very important thank you thank you for so uh, simplicity you explained it 
And there's Thank a question you want to take it. What's about your time? I will not borrow no, no, much no. of your time. No, no, no. We can still go for another five minutes. That's fine. Yes. So there's a question: Does smoking affects fertility? Yes, it does. I'm not going to say yes and no because we're not talking. In, we're not going to detail of fertility, but yes, smoking yeah. affects. Yeah. Because that becomes an altogether total different topic. So yes, that's yes, why I asked. Thinking it could go really, yeah. But yes, we can say yes or no, and I think yes, yes, we're definitely going to talk about this. So before before I say bye to you, my favorite question when it comes as sex is an emotion, what yes. is the best way of expressing it? That's a good question. <laughs> that's a that's a good question. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody's ever asked me that. Actually, you know, it's it's beautiful how you said that sex is an emotion, and I think when when sex becomes an emotion, I think it becomes making love and not sex. You know, I think there is a slight difference between when you're making love and purely having sex, and I think wow. yes, yeah, yes, yes. And I think you know, when sex becomes an emotion, you're making love, and I think that's very important. And it can be anything. You know, we talk about makeup sex, or we talk about you know people, or we you know like sex after a big break and things like that. So sex can be an absolutely It can be a very emotional thing for so many of us, and I think it's very, very important. So yes, yeah, so to me, sex, you know, as an emotion, is more making love than sex. It is. Yeah, because sometimes you know I'm busy doing something, and my partner having this one look on my face, or just coming and like just coming and having a kiss or a touch. Oh, no, absolutely. Know, it gives the vibes. It makes the other one die. Uh, my my husband uh, uh, has his hair blow done, or my hair is a ball mess. Gaya uske to I, I'm thinking, ki yar, mujhe kuch ho gaya. Ek baar bhi toh 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 to
important. So everybody to know sex is pleasurable. It should never be forced. So consent is very important. And the third thing is communication in or during sex is very, very, very important. And I think that's something that people have to understand. And then the last thing I always tell people is condoms and contraception. <laughs> so that is, you know, that's again, very important things. You have to remember condoms does a dual role, uh, you know, plays fantastic for your contraception as well as preventing STIs. But if you, you know, in a regular relationship, if you don't want to use condoms, but just make sure that you have a good contraception in place, talk to your doctor, there are absolutely fantastic contraceptions out there these days. So these are some basic things that, you know, people have to know and understand with sex and rest of it will just come by. Rest of it will just flow. It'll come by and, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, there is no book or exactly. I think it's just human physiology. Sex falls in place. You just enjoy it and you do it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know what the most sexy part of your personality? Your curls. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say, you have a curly hair too. Yeah, there's something matching. Not only me. Girls with curls are very hot. <laughs> you know, we should, we should have communicated about a red top, but it's okay next time. We will do it. We will do it next time. I, I guess I will have some part two, part three of see this series with you. Because one session I want on sex toys also. Uh, yes, let's, let's do that. Yeah, yeah. sex toys. Yes, I will yes, like yes. some gossip talking with you because trust me, this is one topic where I want to talk in open. Why, why not? But the ideal marriage, that's the book. Okay. <laughs> My husband is pinning, pointing there. He's the hero of the today's talk. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, doctor. Once again, as I said, I will love as and when I get your time, I will go for part two, part three, part four of the series. Let's organize something. Let's not leave it too far. Let's come back and talk about sex toys and something else. I think it's a it's a good vibe going here, Saiba. I feel absolutely all excited about this. So I think we should definitely do it. Done, done, done. Once we'll talk about sex, a female orgasm, once we'll talk about male orgasm, once we'll, once we'll talk about uh, simultaneous orgasms, once we'll yeah. talk about self, you know, self masturbating, yeah. self pleasuring. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that is yeah. okay. So we'll have some series and then we'll meet. Yes. So on that, on that note, shall I say bye? Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Same, same. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Have a good sleep. You too. Thank you. Bye. 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 So guys, this was an amazing session. I will store it as usual. My Instagram page, uh, live uh, page, pe ho please go watch there and uh, have fun, guys. Uh, I could not talk much to the audience today because we had her to speak. Uh, so thanks for staying till the end. Thank you, my dear husband. Do go watch the entire uh, IGTV live. Aajka, it was very amazing, very informative. Khul ke do logo ne baat ki. And for all those who were from start to end, thank you, thank you guys. Have a sexy night, have full orgasms, enjoy sex as an emotion, then as an act. On that note, I sign off. Bye.